I'm working through the process now, trying to secure the the next project. So, yeah. hopefully, here before Christmas, I uh, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we have started recording. So I wanted to welcome you to Don Richards. Uh, my name is Trander from 4x4offroads.com, and uh, Don has got some uh, really cool uh, F350, I think, with on big tires and uh, had an interesting adventure the other day. So, so Don, please tell me you know, a little bit about yourself and where you're from, et cetera. Um, I'm Don Richards. I, uh, I live here in the USA in Virginia, up in uh, northern Virginia. Um, and I have a 05 or had an 05 F350 that uh, back in 2009, 2010, I was working with Sandor to, uh, to build what I called an Iceland truck. Yes, definitely. It looks Icelandic, all on uh, 47 inch tires, right? And Yes. Yeah. So, so, so did you uh, have, have somebody build the truck for you? Or did you put it together in your garage? Uh, or? No, I, I had a local shop do the work. I, uh, I grew up and, and built uh, quite a few big trucks in, uh, in my youth. And, uh, you know, growing up and getting married and everything, I kind of didn't have the toys anymore. So when I, I got married to my wife about, uh, about 15 years ago, I, I got back into being able to afford to build a, a, a toy truck. Uh, everyday work vehicle. I, I don't have a lot of uh, snow here in Northern Virginia, but uh, I do have a uh, ski house in West Virginia, about three and a half hours west of where we live in Northern Virginia. And they get quite a bit of snow per year. And uh, well, hence why I, I decided to go ahead and build a, a flotation style truck that can get on top of the snow and, and get through the deep snow. Yes, it's uh, it's really fun to do that. And were you able to uh, to have it uh, work as it should be? On the, on the uh, yes, snow? actually, uh, yeah. The um, you know it was, it was definitely iterations. You know, here in Virginia, we we definitely have uh, street laws restrictions around uh, bumper height, and uh, the configuration I wanted to go to was definitely what would be considered out of bounds or not legal for street use. Um, so I started out with a, a regular F-250 4 by 4 and actually had to uh, upgrade to an F-350 dually for the weight class. And uh, with that weight class, uh, it has an unlimited bumper height restriction. So uh, through trial and error, I went ahead and I spoke to several state police and uh, got their opinion before I actually lifted the truck. And then I, I went with a Fabtech 10-inch lift kit. And then uh, we modified uh, the fender flares and the, uh, the fenders to accommodate the, the 47, uh, 24 tires. Yeah, it's, and, uh, it looks, it came out really, really nice. And uh, I must say yeah, it, you know, it's definitely been a showstopper. It's been a fun truck as I've been uh, driving through like Walmart and Target and uh, those parking lots and uh, people just, you know, they stop and take pictures. It's, it's funny. You, you almost feel like a celebrity uh, driving down the street because people turn around and stop and they're taking your picture, you know, because the, the truck is just so wide. It's not just tall, you know, it's kind of wide. It's got a, a beefier footprint because of the dually outset on the rims. And I, I designed it to be that way, you know, so that the, the tire width actually went out to the, the maximum width like a dually sits and then uh, yes, work exactly. backwards from, yeah. work backwards from there with my offset on my uh, 16 inch wide rims. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if you have uh, also the width restrictions we have like in Europe, two meters, 55 centimeters, I think for for trucks on the road. Do you? Uh, yeah, you must have something yeah, similar I, I, there. And yeah, that, that was the whole point of uh, I made sure that I didn't go wider than the back tires of the dually. You know, the the actual width of the stock vehicle. So I designed my inset offsets on my rims to equal identically what the footprint of the the truck was from the factory. 
so I didn't go wider than that. Right, and and you also kept the, uh, you know, the lift as low as possible, so so it uh, so it's not not that high and uh, not the uh, uh, you know dangerous to uh, roll over and and, and that, uh, that's actually what saved me in my uh, current predicament. Yeah, well, tell me about that. Uh, that was uh, must have been quite a quite an incident. There, on, you were driving there on the on the highway. Yeah, you know, in in Virginia, I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, U.S., but uh, in Virginia, we have the the interstate highways, which are higher speed, heavier traffic volume. And here in Northern Virginia, this time of year, uh, it's pretty much bumper to bumper traffic any time of the day. Um, this was in the, the middle of the afternoon uh, in the southern part, southern southwest portion of uh, Virginia on Interstate 81, which is, uh, I don't want to say a high speed uh, like they have in Europe, but uh, the speed limit is 70 uh, and 70 miles per hour. I don't know what the, the kilometer is on that, um, but it's definitely fast moving traffic. And it's more driven by tractor trailers and semis than cars, because it's the interstate uh, commerce uh, for the tractor trailers moving freight. And so uh, I was driving along and I was actually uh, in the slow lane doing about 70 or right at 70 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, I was going to pick up some parts from my tractor from a, a local dealer, and uh, my tire actually exploded. Uh, off the rim, it went off like a gunshot, uh, blew my left front fender completely off the vehicle and took fender flares and everything. Um, the tractor trailer that was getting ready to pass me was actually thankful. He was actually admiring my truck as he was coming up to pass. He saw the he saw the tire blow off and he let off the gas and it just started to ease onto the brake. Um, but then my truck hooked an immediate left turn uh, as it went to the rim and the tire caught on the frame. And uh, it hooked my truck sideways and uh, he locked his brakes up, uh, T-boned me uh, right in the driver's side door. And uh, together we went uh, off into the median and up the, the guardrail. Um, as this was all happening, of course, when he struck my vehicle, I was actually looking out my we looking out my window and you know, he was only eight feet away, window to window, and we were looking at each other as we were sliding down the uh, sliding down the interstate, and uh, and we came to a stop. And it was one of those moments, you know. I, I looked at him and I I pointed and I gave him the thumbs up, and he like, shook his head really rapidly. We know where our, both our eyes were this big around, and uh, he did the same thing. He pointed back at me, and I gave him the thumbs up, and uh, I got out of the vehicle, walked around, and uh, I was. Just in shock. One, uh, one that I didn't get hurt more than I did, and we were thankful that uh, you know I really believe that the truck, uh, because of its configuration, um, you know I, I I've never liked tall trucks, like really tall. I was really big on and wanting to keep it stable in the configuration, and uh, I you know the fact that this truck turned sideways at 70 miles an hour and. Uh, it slid sideways and did not roll. Uh, kind of amazed the state trooper as well because he said all the four wheel drives that have have had blowouts that he's seen have all rolled when uh, when they've experienced a you know a seventy mile sixty five mile an hour blowout. Yeah, it must have been must have been pretty scary. And did you say it was the the, the front the front left wheel or the rear wheel that uh, blew out? The left driver side uh, front tire. Yeah, so so you you must have lost all control on the, on the well, steering. It, it, I, lost, I lost control. Um, I maintained control when it first happened and grabbed the wheel and held it to the right. And I was staying straight, mm. but the tire, like if you took the center of the tire and split it in half, this this half the tire blew off completely. It wasn't even there. The other part of the tire actually hooked around the uh, the axle and the suspension and locked locked up 
which caused the front tire to lock up by itself, which took the truck and made it do an immediate 180 uh, in the road. And that's when the, uh, the tractor trailer caught me. Um, and just like NASCAR, we went sliding down the road, the smoke was filling over top of the truck and, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a crazy, for, for a crazy scene I like, to you see. Know, I like wild rides, you know, but uh, that, that was a little wild, a little too wild for my taste. And, you know, what's even funnier is, uh, you know, for Christmas, I actually uh, asked my wife to get an in-car video camera. You know, I wanted to actually put it on my dash so I could always record anything. Because I see a lot of stuff while I'm driving. Nothing ever happens to me. But, man, could you imagine if I'd have caught this on video? And uh, uh, it would have been definitely a video to go wild on YouTube and anywhere else. Right. And uh, and uh, perhaps later I can I can uh, I can show the the pictures from the from after the accident. It's a uh, pretty amazing that that you you uh, survived and uh, with all this uh, all these things going on. So <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely the wild yeah, ride. So, right. So so heavy. So now you you got the got the truck. Uh, uh, from the insurance paid, I guess, and uh, you you, yeah, you have some plans for for uh, for another build, or what are your yeah, plans so now? Uh, for I'm uh, right now. I'm uh, just waiting to uh, settle with the the insurance company um, uh, for the replacement because uh, the vehicle was a, a total loss. Uh, I originally built the uh, 05 or 2005 F350 Dually. As you know, those 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 trucks in those years had a lot of issues with the 6.0 engine, uh, which I experienced all of those with the uh, EGR and the head and did all the aftermarket stuff to pretty much make the engine bulletproof. Uh, and it was a great truck all in all. But uh, I've got my heart set right now on the 2008 series F350 Dually. Uh, still doing the short bed. Because uh, that's the last year that they they're make they've made a, a short bed, a six and a half foot bed. You know, getting around in traffic and going to the grocery store, you still need the uh, a shorter wheelbase to be able to accommodate all that. So uh, right now, I've got uh, I'm looking at a black uh, 08 Lariat uh, and a white uh, F350 Dually uh, XL. Um, and uh, those are my next two project trucks. Um, I've already been uh, in contact with Fabtech and uh, you know, all the different manufacturers for the, the lift kits. Um, and uh, should be able to you know, do this project, I'm hoping, over the next three months. Nice. I got nice. to we'll be... get my vehicle back, man. I, I miss it terribly right now. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. It's just, uh, you know, without out proper transport and not able to get up to your hut there in the in the woods yeah it's, it's ski season here now so it's just now starting uh, unfortunately we don't have any snow right now but uh you know, that's people don't recognize me in the regular car they only know me from around here you know where we kind of a, a very small town and you know my truck being so unique and one of a kind it's uh how most all my friends recognize me Everybody's complaining right. that they won't be able to find me now when I'm driving around town. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been uh, really nice chatting with you, Tom, and uh, hearing your story. And and uh, you know, actually, I'm, I'm hoping to do a lot more, uh, you know, gathering stories from off-roaders like you uh, that are building interesting stuff and, and doing doing some uh, some nice things with the trucks and uh, original thinking and uh, it's always uh, always some adventures happening around you know four oh, wheels and off-road yeah. yeah this one was definitely uh, an adventure that's for sure <laughs> yeah exactly and, I, have uh, really, I have to really thank you for uh for your guidance early on there in in, in 2009 2010 you've definitely and online and in your group i've been following it for quite a while and i appreciate you putting me in touch with uh people in iceland there to be able to 
the, the biggest thing here from a street requirement is the fender flares. The, you know, the tires right. cannot stick out, you know, and so that's the one thing that really aided me in, in getting past state inspection and uh, the state police is the fact that fender flares made the truck so unique in itself and, and made it so peacefully looking. Um, of course, yeah. they're very expensive, yeah. very expensive, and that makes it so that not a, not everybody can do it. <laughs> Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but uh, but they they make them really really nice here in in these uh, companies here in Iceland. So um, yeah, I want to thank you also for for these kind of words and um, and uh, we'll just uh, stop this re recording now and and we'll post this up on YouTube and uh, and do some more of this and thank you again. So thank you. Have a, have a merry Christmas, all everybody. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.